today's video i'm going to show you guys how to create this pop-up video effect that you can use for your fitness videos right inside CapCut desktop and make sure you stick to the end to get one bonus tip about this very effect all right guys let's get started so these are the two videos we're gonna use. This first video and then the second video. The second video is gonna be the video that's gonna come in as our next video. Make a copy of it, Command C or Control C if you're using a PC. Go on top of the first video, Command V or Control V if you're using a PC to paste it on top of it. Now let's make it as small as possible. We just want a small part of it. Now drag it to wherever you want it to start from. So with this tutorial, we want it to come in at this side. Click on the top video, go to the right side of the software, under scale, change it to 30%. Now click on the on screen, drag it to wherever you want it to be. So with this tutorial, we want it to be somewhere here. Now go to the left side of the software, click on test, select default test, drag and drop on top of the top video. Make it the same length with the top video. Click on the test again, go to the right side, delete the default test and write in next video or next. Go to the font side, choose any font style you want. I'll go with this font style. Go to color, change the color to your favorite color or any color you want. I'll still maintain white scroll down select background change the color of the background i'll go with red on this tutorial then go to shadow click on that with the opacity will increase it a little bit but you can go with your preferred choice now go to the on-screen controls drag and drop it on top of the second video click on this dot side and make it as small as possible drag it to the top corner now make a compound clip of the test and the top video so select the two right click create compound clip or you can use option g or alt g if you're using a pc and now with this compound clip whatever we're going to do it's going to affect everything inside the compound clip and the next step we're going to create some animations with this compound clip click on the compound clip go to the very first frame then go to the right side of the software under position make a keyframe over there when you make a keyframe you can see it changes color to blue and once again if you want to see more videos about what keyframes is all about you can drop a comment down below and i'll make a separate video on that now go 20 frames forward make another keyframe under position now go to the last but one frame we drop another keyframe under position then go back 20 frames drop another keyframe under position so now as you can see down here we have four keyframes done on this compound clip now this is what you do use this very arrow to take you to the first keyframe we made as you can see when i put a cursor on it shows us last keyframe so this is going to take you to the previous keyframe but let's go back two times and it's going to take us to the very first keyframe we made now that we are on the first keyframe click on the on screen and drag it downwards and always make sure the x axis is zero because we just want to move the y axis now go to the very last keyframe that we made to be sure that you're on the last keyframe use this arrow and make sure you have the blue and if you watch here it shows that we are on the last keyframe that we made over there click on the on screen and drag it down once again this time around the x axis wasn't zero so we'll change that and make it zero and now i'll play and show you guys how it looks like it comes in and then it goes away and this one trick if you feel like the animation is too fast this is what you do so when you look carefully at these two points that's where the animation is taking place so if you want to slow it down we just click on the second keyframe and just drag it away from the first one and the more we drag it away from the first one that's going to slow down our animation and if you want it to be fast we'll just drag it closer to the first keyframe so now let me just drag it away from the first one and see how slow it looks like so that's all for today guys, see you on the next one, peace.